No mai, hare mai, kitakura o Blends. Welcome to Blends National Assessment. We're going to take you on a quick journey so you can see what to expect during your assessment days at Blends or my campus or when the Blends Assessment Team visit your local area. Our National Assessment Service is, provides an opportunity for any whānau to bring their learner to the National Assessment Service for a clinical assessment and educational and therapy assessment. So it's a really a holistic assessment and brings all of the teaching and educational and clinic team together for quite an intense week but it's a unique opportunity for parents to be totally immersed in the assessment process and to have that feedback all under one roof. We plan all the details with you well ahead of time and make every effort to meet any special requirements you may have. For assessment at Homai, one of our friendly staff will meet you at the airport. Our van can transport mobility equipment, so please bring any equipment with you that you use. You'll be shown to your accommodation to settle in. Please make yourselves at home. There are supplies for breakfast and also a laundry with a dryer, as well as a clothesline for you to use. Lunch will be provided for you every day. There's always plenty, so please don't be shy. The evening dinner is also prepared for you and our chef and his assistant are happy to cater for any special dietary requirements. You're welcome to use the heated swimming pool to help you relax in the evenings. Simply collect the key from the hostel staff and let yourselves in. The central reception area is the hub of activity and a meeting point for all your assessment sessions. But we will take you on a tour of the campus. There are always friendly staff around to help you on your way if you get lost. You'll probably recognise the executive assistant's voice as she will have communicated with you regarding your travel arrangements. Once you're settled in, the assessment coordinator will meet with you and discuss the timetable and the specialists who will work with you in assessing the needs of your child. The functional sensory teachers look at how children use their vision and other senses for everyday activities. The information gathered helps to identify what tools will be helpful in a classroom or early childhood setting. Here, they're looking at how Madeline uses her vision, hearing and sense of touch to gather information. You could see her with that disc. She was like, oh, I want to touch it, but I don't know what it is. And I don't know if it's going to be hard, soft, gooey, icky, whatever. Those actions that she knows how to do, she was able to imitate me with that action. So that was really fantastic. Orientation and Mobility, or ONDM for short, provides information about moving and travelling safely through the different environments. It is about offering strategies to support children's movement and travel for families and teams to take home and consider. He's doing remarkably well and he's obviously got quite good central vision um, and it's just around him scanning and just leading up to all of those road crossing things. At the library there is a large variety of books for loan. These include large print, braille, audio and collage books. Here Madeline explores a tactile book with her mum. The strategies and tools for learning teacher will discuss approaches to learning tasks and, when appropriate, look at assistive technology, which may range from simple tools through to high-tech specialised electronic equipment. My main concern is, is the whole posture thing and how he's seating, and I think the teacher needs to be very aware of that. It's so easy to get closer and closer and closer to the work, so instead bringing the work up rather than leaning down into the, into the work, if he's, either, if he's reading, bringing the book up instead of leaning over. The Daily Living Skills Therapist looks at general daily living skills. Children who have a vision impairment or they have low vision, the better organised they are, the easier it is for them. Yeah. And if you start while they're little, um, it actually just becomes a natural part of what they do as they get older. Mum, mum, mum. The Speech and Language Therapist considers communication and discusses feeding issues for children who have more complex needs. 
general movement, positioning, stability and balance will be assessed by the physiotherapist who will also discuss any mobility equipment needs with you. The music therapist reckons he has the best job of all. Music therapists use music experience to meet children's personal needs, support learning and promote change. We're going to do some music. Listen to the guitar. At the clinic, the full medical requirements of your child will be assessed. The paediatrician will undertake a general medical checkup and will offer advice on treatments, surgery and diagnosis. If there have been any um, issues or things that have been brought up this week while you've been here, this is a really good time to talk about them. The ophthalmologist is a specialist eye doctor who will check the health of your child's eye and discuss the diagnosis, future implications and any other options for treatment. She's constantly seeing the eye goes up because she sees better. We, we call it up looking. When you look up, it brought up the upper retina to the field of view. The upper retina is more sensitive to detect motions. The optometrist checks vision and discusses technical aids such as glasses and magnifiers. I want you to keep looking straight ahead and as soon as you see the light coming from the side, click the button. A confidential, relaxed discussion with a psychologist covers your choice of topics. These could include allowances, behaviour management, building resilience, coping, family relationships and life beyond school. A staff member is available to look after your child while you have a chat. The team coordinator will meet with you for a final discussion and will summarise key outcomes from the assessment, which you will later receive in a detailed written report. After the assessment week, the, the tools that they can take back, they've just had been able to be in all the sessions so they can see what the specialists are doing with their children. They also get a report that's written up with lots of strategies and lots of ideas that they can do. This report can go back to their school, their classroom teacher, their resource teacher of vision, also other specialists in the area that they work with um, and it's just fantastic ideas and activities that they can use and use for their child to keep the development going. We hope you have a great assessment experience. Tena koto katoa.